Hey, today we're going to be talking about converting from absorbed dose to equivalent dose to effective dose and the units there are going to go from milligray to millisieverts. If you're new here, we have bite-sized content as far as how radiology works and the radiology equipment, especially if you're a radiologic technologist, you're going to want to subscribe below, click on the little bell icon so you can get notified when we release new content. So on our system, how do we measure dose? We actually put a plastic phantom in the scanner and the idea is that that phantom is going to be representative of the tissue in the human body as far as how does it absorb dose. And when we talk about absorbing dose, we want to make measurements of the energy that's absorbed in the tissue and then we normalize that by the mass of the tissue. So that's what dose is. It's energy per unit mass. So energy is in units of joules in our SI units. Mass is in units of kilograms. So energy per unit mass, that's what we're talking about. And those units are gray. And then in diagnostic imaging, the doses are much smaller than in gray. So we're talking about units of milligray. So this is what we measure. We do that with putting an ion chamber inside of the plastic. So going from absorbed dose, where we have a calibration of our ion chamber such that we can convert those measurements in our ion chamber inside of a plastic phantom to the absorbed dose which again will be in milligray we want to convert that to the equivalent dose so what do we do it's a super complicated procedure it involves this fancy thing called a radiation weighting factor super fancy what we're doing is we're going to multiply by one so it's actually very simple guys. If you're in X-ray and CT imaging, the radiation weighting factor is just multiplying our absorbed dose by one and that will give us our equivalent dose. So that's what our equivalent dose is. We just take our absorbed dose and we multiply by one. If we were not using X-rays, if we were using some heavy charged particles or neutrons, we would have to have a different weighting factor because those types of radiation have what's called a higher LET or linear energy transfer. The ability for those things to do damage given the same dose is higher. But we're talking about x-rays here so all we have to do is multiply by one. Then we want to take our equivalent dose and find an effective dose. So in order to go from the equivalent dose to the effective dose it matters then what types of tissue are irradiated. So if we're irradiating the brain in comparison with irradiating the lungs, there's going to be a different weighting factor because of what's called the radiosensitivity of those given tissues or the likelihood of damage that's going to occur in those types of tissues. So here's the idea of the radiation weighting factors. So for each body part we have, we're going to give it a weight that's between zero and one and these factors are going to add up to one and the regions of the body that are more radiosensitive will have higher weights so for instance the gonads are 0 0.08 the lung is 0.16 the breast is 0.12 the bone marrow is 0.13 these are some of the regions of the body that are more radiosensitive for instance if those regions of the body are producing relatively rapidly as far as the cells, such as in the bone marrow, and if we want to talk about the colon is also 0.19, stomach is 0.12, these regions are higher in terms of their radiosensitivity. And then the brain is relatively fixed as far as the tissue and is not reproducing quickly. And so the brain gets a very low weighting when we calculate the effective dose. So what we do is we just say, once we have our equivalent dose and we know how much dose was given to the different parts of the body, we take that equivalent dose and we multiply each region in the body by a weighting factor. So those weighting factors will then add up to one. If we think about a dose to the whole body those radiation factors will add up to one. And that's just what we call our tissue weighting. So again, going from absorbed dose in milligray to equivalent dose in millisieverts. 
And then to effective dose, also in millisecond,